Hello, this is Riju and I'm going to talk about Azure CLI today, some of the basic stuff. So what you are seeing is in my local machine, I have got a Windows subsystem for Linux and inside of which I have Azure CLI installed and the instruction on how to install all of this stuff are given in the official Azure documentation. So if we just search with Azure CLI, uh, and then how on their installation process, you will get to see all of them. So I'm not going into that process of uh, showing you step by step on how to install. But once you install, you have that Azure CLI in your machine. Just to check if that is there, what you can do, you can just type AZ and then enter. And this will show you the, the list of commands uh, this Azure CLI offers so that I can control my Azure uh, resources from the local desktop. And there are a bunch of them, so we're not going into details about it. But what, I, what is most important for us is to check the version. So let's say version. And then this will tell me uh, what is the, the version I have installed here. So you can see that um, um, it also tells me like when this version was installed and then when this is kind of updated. So all you need to know is that if it is current or not. If it is a bit older, let's say if I have 2.5 or 2.4, some of the commands you might have been trying to execute, which is available in the documentation, will not work because they are available in the latest. So always stay up to date. With this, I want to um, jump into, let's say, uh, in terms of creating the resources in, um, in Azure CLI. So for that, my first thing will be to create a resource group. But let's see what all resource groups I have. So if I just say clear. And then if I say AZ groups and then list. This will give me the list of resource group in form of JSON format. So it basically each of the group with certain properties and then it, this will be displayed in the in the screen. And there are a bunch of them I have and you can see each of the resource groups are kind of grouped like this and they have few properties. And if I don't want them to be displayed um, something like that, what I can say, I can use this and I use output and then type table. So some of the properties will be uh, available to me in form of tabular. So I can see um, in a much more readable fashion in a sh concise format. What you can also do over here uh, is while you are browsing through the list, you see that you have certain groups uh, already created the resource group created. Now you want to create a new resource group. So if you really want to do that, and then let's say choose one of the Azure regions like East US, and then create a new group. So what you can do, you can basically start typing AZ group, and then ask for help. This will basically tell you like how you can go ahead and then find out a little bit of more help. So you can see that there are commands like create, delete, exist, uh, export, list, show, update, wait, etc. available. So I want to use the create. So I'll say create and help. And now this will tell me a much more detailed step about how I can create a resource group, even including an example of resource group creation process. So if you see that I need to provide two required parameters, one is location and others name and I can use either the full location or dash L or I can just use uh, minus N for name or dash dash N. So let's use something like that. So if I say AZ group and then I say create and I just give a name, let's say N and then I say RG del, this will basically delete my resource group and the location is East US. This should be enough for me to create a resource group and then resource group creation process generally is pretty fast. 
uh, it takes um, almost immediate effect and then once this retrieves the information back from the API it will show me in my screen so you can see that my resource group is now created now if I, you have the resource group you want to also see if it is really listed uh, created and listed in in the in the previous output table format so if you do that you'll get to see the resource group in this list now called RG Del. so it is pretty much created now if I come back to that I want to create a risk my resource within this resource group now if you want to really create let's say a virtual machine uh, you have a different command so you use AZ to start with but you use VM and then you check with help I will say that VM will come with a couple of additional list of commands and one of the important commands which is create which is common across all the CLI um, modules available is that if you can create a resource you can use a create command and it's easy for all of us to remember that now if I just go ahead and then clear it up and then say EAZ VM and I use create and help this will give me the list of uh, commands I can put inside the VM create um, process so if I go ahead and say that um, hey um, show me the help so it is it has got bunch of information because when you create a virtual machine you basically can provide a lot of information but we are focusing on only a few other stuff but I just would like to highlight a few things um, I want to go on top it's a huge list you can see it has got few things common I mean like required which is name of the virtual machine and a resource group inside which you are creating a virtual machine so you have to have a resource group created before you can create a, a virtual machine within it so and then if you go a little down you find a couple of other arguments but one of the two other um, parameters which are mandatory is that the image which basically you can um, you can use to create a virtual machine and the concept of image is that we have that operating system pre-configured for you so you can pick up from that uh, list so you see that there is an image and it basically tell me the list of images so let's first check what is there in the image so if I say VM AZ VM image list and I use output table this will give me the list of images available uh, for the virtual machine I can also specify the location I want to create the virtual machine so I can identify if what is there in the east to west region so you can uh, put those additional parameters to filter things out so if I get the list of images I can pick up from that image and then start creating my virtual machine from that so let's see what all images I have so you can see that you have got a bunch of images available already right so and then um, what is more interesting for me is to pick up the latest one which is Windows uh, 2019 um, data center version and then the name it calls is win 2019 data center that's basically the urn i need to use that so if i just um remember or copy it let's say i copy this win 2019 data center and then i go back and clear my screen and i say az vm create you notice the sequence and then i put the name let's say vm tell uh, del is stands for delete um, I will be deleting once this is over so I just wanted to make sure that and then I provide the resource group name with G and I just provide the previously created resource group name and then I provide the location east US I can skip that but let me explicitly provide the location for the VM to be created and then I provide image right so e either you type the whole word um, which is the name of the parameter then you put double dash or you use a single letter if that uh, alias is available then you use single dash and a single letter that's how this it looks like now if I say win 2019 data center uh, you need to be careful about this 
case um, so it will ideally um, have the the windows server 2019 data center created within this um, another uh, mandatory parameter which is required here um, is the admin password all right so the local admin will be created with some name we don't know what name they will pick up uh, we will figure it out later but if you want to provide explicit name you can provide that name and then you can also provide the password in the parameter itself but what if if you don't provide a parameter which is a mandatory parameter so let's see what this looks like so if my command is correct and if it is trying to create a virtual machine what it, this will basically do this will pick it up and then ask for the admin password here i need to provide the admin password and in the azure context the password has to be a complex password with minimum 12 character um, one capital letter at least one capital letter one small letter one number one special character so you need to have that in place so let me just provide that i provide the password and then it is asking me to if both the passwords are correct then it will start executing the process which means my now my vm execution basically would start so let's yeah so this is now uh, executing the virtual machine what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open another window and then show you a few of the querying capability while this vm is getting created Now you can see that virtual machine is created and it says that finished and then it also says a little bit about the virtual machine right and remember that we created a virtual machine called RG Dell so I can literally go in and say AZVM and then I just provide the name of the virtual machine right uh, and then I say show and VM and then I also need to provide the resource group name so and then it will display the details of your virtual machine which means that everything about the virtual machine which includes a lot of data so if you see from the top of this state information is that it has got a name called VM Dell that's what I have provided and then you can go little down you see that its admin user is given uh, so and the password i have provided uh, during the execution so that's the same password and if you go a little down you see that there is something called storage profile and under storage profile i've got something called os disk and then I have an OS type called Windows so if you really want to get inside that you can always go and say I want to go to storage profile go and inside OS disk and then the OS type it'll tell me what OS I am right now in so you can do all sort of uh, query and then find out that your VM is kind of ready and available for it to use and just to have the clarity around that your vm is having a public ip address so if you ping this ip address it will basically show you if the vm is responding or not and just wanted to uh, show you quickly once you create all of this stuff you what you can do you can just delete all of them so easy group dell and then you just name say the group name and this will uh, go ahead and delete the the group so i'll say rg tell and this will not only delete the group but also delete everything inside the group you can also provide a force parameter which will may basically say yes if you don't provide this parameter what it, it, this will do it will ask you whether you want to delete all the resources in this group and delete it because once you delete you cannot retrieve it so basically um, 
that So let me just check again. So RG group delete. Uh, it's not Dell, it's delete. So if you say that, then it will go ahead and delete and it will ask, it is asking you to provide the, the confirmation because it's a serious operation you are doing, right? So you need to make sure that you, by mistake you did not provide that uh, thing. So it is going to go ahead and then delete the res virtual machine and all its component within this resource group and delete everything. So thank you very much and um, have a great day.